Hello everyone. Thank you for joining the Dirt Road Farmer. Welcome. Well, uh, today we've got a fairly large cornfield to harvest. And uh, we're in the process right now of getting everything up here to the old home place. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> you know, that's the thing that farmers get into all the time is moving equipment around. Uh, everything scattered. But, uh, you know, that's the way it is. That, you know, everything ain't right out your front door, you know. So... It takes a little bit of time to get everything moved, all your equipment that you're going to be using, and uh, yeah. So anyway, we're gonna get this harvester up here. Now we have a corn header already up here. Uh, you know, corn headers for John Deere, uh, on the larger headers, actually, any of the John Deere corn headers, I didn't find any trailers for the header. No, tra no headers, headers for a corn, or no trailers for a corn header. And I thought that was pretty strange. Uh, how else are we supposed to get this thing from point A to point B? Yeah, uh, you just, you know, there's so many sign posts and telephone posts and you just, you know, how are you supposed to get it down the road? So, uh, we probably ought to check into getting some corn header trailers that'll fit these larger headers. All right, and we can go around here to the other side. All right. Now, we'll see if we can get this <laughs> yeah. We'll get this down here where we're going to start. Uh, we've got a truck up here. I'm not sure we're going to use it. It's probably going to be just as close uh, and just as fast to run from here across the road and put it in the corn dryer. So, yeah. That's probably what we're going to end up doing. So, all right. I think this is just as good a place as any. Yeah, we can back up here a piece. All right. Now we'll go down and get our grain cart, and we'll get started. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, well, let's get this guy programmed in. We've got our grain cart, and I did bring a truck up here. I'm not sure we're going to use it because the grain dryer is right there. So, uh, and this grain cart uh, holds a hefty amount like almost a half a million liters, maybe a half a million. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's probably going to be just as well to run that grain cart across the road and dump into the grain dryer. So, all right, let's clear the current course out of that harvester. 
and we're going to put a course in him we'll create a job field position like right there let's generate a course all right we got one tool uh three headland passes i think that we just fine we want to start on the headlands first uh smooth i think that'll be all right we may have to go through and uh touch up a little bit when it's done but that's all right all right and uh yeah i think we're ready to create the field work course all right looks like we've got that done all right let's bring up the small hud and if you're ready i'm ready let's go to work oh yeah yeah he wants to unfold that himself yeah all right And it looks like we are harvesting corn. All right. Well, we're going to jump out of him and go get in our grain cart. And we're going to start chasing him. So, uh, again, I'm using this big articulated tractor. Uh, not because it's articulated, because I don't particularly care for articulating tractors, but uh, uh, we're using it because of the power. Uh, if you notice, this field is not flat. It's got some hills to it. And it takes some power to pull this grain cart. You get a load, a half a load on it. Yes. It takes some power. So. Anyway. And we are getting corn. And what we want to do is try to limit uh, the number of times that he has to back up and move over to the right so that we can unload him we want to limit that number so before he heads into the trees and stuff up here we want to make sure he's empty so absolutely everything looks great going into that header great oh young lady well, she's gonna do a fine job in that harvester she knows what she's doing all right well <laughs> we're gonna keep chasing these this harvester and uh, I sure miss the big commercial farms where I could run five five of these harvesters now that kept you busy now chasing five harvesters yes but uh, yeah you know this is a smaller farm smaller fields and it's fine uh, we'll just run the one harvester and, and let it go at that All right, we'll let him make his turn up here. And like I said, there's places that we'll have to touch up. So, but anyway, we're gonna keep chasing this harvester, keep him empty. 
and uh, I'll get back with you here in a little bit. All right, we are about to finish our headland passes, and we're gonna go over here and dump this load because he's gonna have to find where he's gonna start the up and down rows. I don't know where that's at right off the bat. All right, let's put our pipe out. And we're going to put this in the gr grain dryer. Get that thing started. All right, see, this is just as fast as using a truck if you don't have to travel very far. So, absolutely. And we all know how profitable dry corn can be on this map. Uh, yes. I think the last time we sold dry corn, we sold like $3 million worth. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. So, yeah, we want some more of that. All right. Now, we'll go find our harvester because he's looking for his uh, place to start. And I don't know if it'll be on this row or he'll go to the top side. Uh, your guess is as good as mine. But anyway, whenever he finds it, I'll get back with you. All right. Well, he started down here in the lower corner. And I guess we'll work our way up to the top. So, yes, everything is looking real good. There'll be a lot of corn. Almost a million liters will come off this field. So, get it in the corn dryer or grain dryer, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, yeah, get it dried and get it sold. And we have a field ready to chop for chaff. And we want to put that in a fermenting silo. And we'll probably, it's, a, it's not a big, as big a field as this is. Uh, but we'll get it in a fermenter and we're we're working our way toward getting some cows so we've got to have the uh, silage for part of the TMR so absolutely and like I I think I said earlier uh, in one of my previous videos uh, I think we're going to have dairy cows on this farm versus the beef cattle. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the beef cattle. They were great. Uh, but we're going to have dairy cows. And uh, yeah, we'll just we'll sell the milk. And I think what we'll do, I'm not sure if we'll sell the milk we may put that in a uh, cheese factory or dairy, whatever you want to call it, and make cheese because cheese does sell very well. So I think that may be what we'll do. So anyway, uh, now we wait for this harvester to come up through here. And uh, I'm hoping that he'll be able to make it from one end of this field to the other end uh, without getting loaded. Now, it's no big deal if he gets loaded. It's just the fact that he'll have to get over so that we can 
get him unloaded without getting into the fruit or into the corn. So, and that's not a bad thing. The only problem with that is it just takes time. And, uh, you know, on a farm, uh, time is everything. It is everything. So, anyway, we're just going to keep chasing this harvester. We're going to get this cornfield done. All right, well, we are getting across this field. <laughs> uh, and yes, uh, that big John Deere harvester does make it from one end to the other without having to unload. So that is great. Uh, saves a whole lot of time. So anyway, uh, yes. We are making great headway. And it won't be too awful long. We'll have this field harvested. So, look at that corn in there. Now, there is a steel plate. A lot of times, well, I will show you later in the video uh, what I mean by that steel plate. For those of you that are not familiar, uh, with this type of wagon. This is a dual auger wagon and uh, it fills the bottom part first with grain and then it fills the top. However, there is a expanded metal plate uh, that the corn goes through and that'll sift out you know debris like maybe you get a limb in there or something or uh, corn stalk or anything well that'll sift it out where you don't put that uh, you know in a dryer or whatever so I'll show it to you later and uh, that way you'll know what I'm talking about but yep we're just gonna keep chasing this harvester he's doing a great job and couldn't ask for any better so we'll be done before you know it all right we'll keep chasing him all right we're going to take this load over and put it in the grain dryer and i'll jump up there and show you uh what i mean by the expanded metal plate in the bottom of this uh, grain cart. All right. All right, let me jump out while we're unloading. And I'll just show you. All right, you see that green plate? It's got holes in it. And that sifts the corn in case, like I said, in case you get something in there that'll damage the augers or, or whatever that sifts the grain so that's what I mean by a, a expanded metal plate all right we've got him unloaded <laughs> let's go collect some more grain all right well we're about to get this field harvested. I mean, did we tear this field up or what? Man, excellent. Man, we done, we done great. Absolutely. Now we get this field harvested uh, I think we probably better go buy uh, some propane 
for our corn dryer or grain dryer so we're going to need I think we're going to need a little more propane so I'll take you with me uh, whenever we get this done I'll take you with me and we'll go buy a truckload of propane and uh, bring it back and put it in that dryer and I think probably one's about all we'll need I just don't want to run out uh, because we'll get busy doing something else and forget and in the meantime we've got corn sitting in there that needs to be dried and there's no propane in the dryer so uh, yeah so anyway we're going to go ahead and get this done and uh, I'll see you in a little bit all right well we're getting over here getting ready to get a load of propane and like I said we would probably have enough but I didn't want to take a chance on not having enough so yeah all right Yeah, let's see here. I don't remember how to. Okay. All right. We're loading with propane right now. <clears throat> so we bought this new truck. It's a thousand horse. And it doesn't mess around much. <laughs> it, uh, yes, it flat gets with the program. Isn't that nice? Look at that full mud flap in the back. It's what they call a rock guard, I guess. But, oh yeah. So anyway, we are... Oh, we got about 75% right now. So we want to wait. Cause we want to take a full load over there. All right, 35,000 liters. All right, well, let's see if we can... Well, let's see. I think we can probably do a UE right here. Maybe, maybe not. All right. There we go. All right, well, we're going to take this over, put it in our grain dryer, and there's no straight way to get over there. You've got to go up here and hit the main highway and go down. So, oh yeah. Well, I'll see you when we get over there. All right. Well, this truck's burning some coal pulling his hill now. <laughs> All right. Well, I thought maybe the wheat field down in the bottom would be ready to harvest. And uh, we could just leave our harvester here. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that's not the case. It's not ready yet. <clears throat> and we have a field 
Well, we've got two fields that need to be harvested right now. One, uh, we're gonna, it's a corn field, a small corn field, and we want to chop that for chaff, put it in a fermenter. So, all right. This is where we're going to unload propane. So there we are. All right. Well, I guess we'll call this a video. Uh, if you've liked this content, please go down there and give me a like. I'd sure appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It means the world to me. If you'd like to share this video with someone, please do. And leave me a comment. If you want to comment, that would be great. I try to answer all of my comments. But as for me, the Dirt Road Farmer, I think we're going to call it a day. And as always, thank you for watching.